Hello everybody. It's been two months since season 15 of Heartland has started. After a troubled season 14, we were worried about this season from the very beginning. However, so far, we have been surprisingly happy about it, as every episode has been better than the previous one. This means that this week, we had watched the best episode of season 15 of Heartland so far. Last week's episode was also worth mentioning as one of the bests of Heartland. Nevertheless, it was just a sad, tragic episode that broke our hearts once again. In that respect, it was too similar to season 14, which we didn't appreciate. In episode 8, however, we got our cheerful atmosphere back as almost everyone was living their best life, or at least attempting to live it. The two highlights of the episode, however, were the love lives of Amy and Lou, both of which we expect to see more in the upcoming episodes. First, let's discuss Amy. In the last episode, Amy once again had to face the death of Ty. It was painful for her for the most part. However, in the end, she came to the conclusion that life is continuing and she has to lose herself with the flow as well. Amy decided that she needs to focus on her life rather than being sorry for herself at all times. It was a turning point for the character and a delicate way of saying goodbye to Ty. Since Ty has been the love of her life, when it comes to romance, we initially expected Amy to be more reluctant. And yet, this episode changed our mind on the issue a little bit. Last week, we mentioned that our bet is on Sam when it comes to possible love interests on Amy. In this episode, we also discovered that we were not wrong about that anticipation as well. But there is also a new guy who is ready for competition. Before making things more complicated than they already are, let's look at what has happened. Amy and Lou met with an old rancher Al, who happens to be an old friend of Jack as well. Al was with his grandson, Finn. Finn was living in another city, but was visiting his grandfather whenever he got the chance to visit. From the first second, it was obvious that Finn liked Amy. When their horse had an issue, he insisted on Al to allow Amy to take care of the horse. He supported Amy in her approach to the horse and acted as a mediator between her and Al. He also let Amy know at every opportunity that he appreciates Amy's work a lot. Throughout the episode, there was a spark between the two. Amy's approach was too friendly at first. However, when the two had a heartwarming conversation with Ty, Amy had no trouble sharing her true feelings about the issue. She told Finn that she feels guilty whenever she feels happy. Finn encouraged her on the fact that she can't stop living just because she experienced a terrible loss. It was a milestone for the two's relationship as it brought them together. After this conversation, Amy accepted Lou's invitation for a night out with Fred. When Fred's brother showed up, Amy seemed open to the possibility of meeting with someone new. Of course, he was annoying as hell, and it did not turn into anything in the end. Nevertheless, this date-like situation was something new for Amy, and it was clear she enjoyed it. During the night out, they came across Caleb and Sam. Caleb told Amy that he is happy to see her being out, and open to meeting with new people again. It was a nice moment of friendship. More importantly, though, Sam questioned whether Amy was on a date, proving that he is interested in her life. He was both got upset to see her with another man but also glad that she was open to dating. The chemistry between the two was undeniable, as they shared multiple intimate glances, proving that they care for each other. After this episode, we wait for a move from both Sam and Finn. The question is, who will end up stealing Amy's heart? Well, since both are great men, we are struggling to come up with an expectation on the issue. Lou, on the other hand, wasn't lucky throughout the episode when it comes to her love life. It was clear that she was constantly thinking about Peter in her mind, but trying to occupy herself so that she can avoid facing him. Thus, she decided to organize a lumberjack competition with Fred. Fred already expressed his interest in Lou before. In this episode, he repeated his intentions. 
When Lu didn't look so enthusiastic about it, though, he pretended that this was only business-related. Their date was horrible, as Lu had to save Fred's life for the second time. Nevertheless, it seemed like Fred was having trouble reading the signs. After the competition, he came up to Lu once again and told her that he wants to date her. At that point, Lu told him that there is someone else in her life. Thankfully, Fred finally stopped insisting after that response and wished her the best of luck. Still, we can't help but notice that he was so insistent on the issue up until Lu brought up another man as an excuse. It is always disappointing to see that women are forced to come up with an excuse, which is generally another man in their life, to avoid unwanted attention. A simple no is rarely enough in rejecting men in real life, and it seems like as a realist show, Heartland preferred to follow that path as well. In our opinion, it's an odd choice, but still, we're happy that Lou can finally accept the fact that she is in a relationship with Peter. What do you think about our opinions? Who do you think Amy will end up with? Do you think Lou will remarry Peter? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.